Hi there, so I've got a uh, Golf Mark 3.5 Cabriolet 2 litre petrol um, and it cut out on me when I was driving back from the garage, funny enough. Um, it'd been running a bit rough for a few weeks um, and eventually it just died on the way home. Uh, so what I found was this ignition coil. My ignition coil had shorted out, so um, this is a new one. So I wrote down the resistor values that you're expecting. So between pins three and one, you want about four, four and a half kilo ohms, three to two, four and a half. And then you hit high tension to case three to four K. Um, my high tension to case was zero ohms on it. So just to clear up a few things, because it's really hard to suss out the wiring. So I've taken the loom apart so I could really understand where stuff went. Um, with the HT connector, you've got three connections there. Your brown is your earth. Okay, so you need to check that's good. This earth strap as well, which goes on, had quite high resistance through the contacts on it, so I've had to polish and clean all that up to get that down to, to, to pretty much zero ohms. Your, your black and red is a feed from your ECU. So your ECU controls the output in this plug here. Um, I think it's pin 74, it's, it's in there. Um, and that feeds out to your coil once once your ECU uh, gets a good you know an okay circuit your, your black here is a it's a permanent 12 volt feed now that's shared with see there's two black cables here that's shared with your permanent 12 volt feed to your ECU connector in the top there so that's your shared voltage so when I connected badge card it was saying no ECU and that's because the voltages to both of these lines have died um, so it's really difficult to to kind of diagnose it because every time I looked online every single fuse panel was different than the one I had um, so incidentally uh, relay 409 here is your fuel relay now you need multiple inputs into that to, to make that fuel relay go um, and one of them is an ECU input so you have your crash sensor uh, your ECU input um, and what I'd, what I'd, so I traced the black wires back into the box and what I found was is this, this kind of um, 15 amp 32 volt slow blow fuse and, and it looked okay, I couldn't really see it until I dropped the box down you can drop the box out by undoing a couple of clips and then pulling this out and it pops out, it's easier than you think actually um, just got to be careful with the wiring and the hooks inside um, and I actually traced it back to that fuse and that fuse didn't look broken <laughs> Uh, and so this is it here so I took it out dumped a standard 15 amp fuse in it just to check my circuitry and everything powers up and, and it's working again so it's well worth noting that um, that joint feed um, and what you do then is when you turn your ignition on you put your hand on the fuel relay you can feel your fuel relay pick up then um, which kind of confirms that you've got your feed from your ECU circuit as well so um, it's just a helpful little tip on sort of some of the wiring to help you guys out um, with the it's a shame I've done a panel back up but with the fuel pump connector there's four pins the outer two are your positive and earth uh, to power your pump the inner two are your fuel send is your fuel gauge sender um, so that's worth checking as well because that it, it, you get an instantaneous 12 volts and it then it times out and drops down but you can you can feel the relay pick up and drop anyway but um there we go so it's a joint it's a joint 12 volt circuit that that powers your, your ecu and your ignition coil so good luck guys